I'ma beat that pussy like a metro You be in Gucci every day like it's your dress code You say you love me, we gon' put that to the test though Just like a crib, I got you going up What's up, YouTube? It's Dage. What's up, y'all? It's Kels. And we are back with another video. So, this one is... This is a video of how we met. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it's kind of a long story, but it's really not because everything happens so fast. Y'all just got to keep up with us. That's right. All right. Here we go. Shoot. So we'll first, start. well, yeah, first we can say it started at Amazon. Just know that. Yep. Let's see. It was December 21st. No, tell them before that when you first saw me. Okay, okay, yeah. So I think I talked about it a little bit in the last video when I first seen her. It was probably like a week before this. She was just walking, you know, trying to look all innocent, but you know. I seen her, I had my tunnel vision on after that, you know. But yeah, I, I seen her and I was walking next to one of my one of my dudes that I worked with. And I'm like, oh man, I, I gotta have her. He said, that's the, I said, that's the girl of my dreams right there. And he, was, he just started laughing, but I was dead serious. So from that day forward, I wanted to talk to her right then, but it was like a lot of people around and you know, First impression is everything, so I ain't want to, you know, mess it up right there. So then, like, you know, a week go past, and we worked in two different areas. She was working all over, and I was in, like, a, a steady spot. So she got moved to my area, and I'm like... <sighs> Perfect. <laughs> yes, excellent. <laughs> 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 Let me tell y'all my side. So, basically, I was working in AFE. Those who know AFE, you know, that's like, that's packing or whatever. But it's like the multiple packages. And so, multiple I was, items. yeah, multiple items. And so, I got picked. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe I got picked because, you know, my rate was high or something. But they said it was random. So they moved me up to single smalls and it happened to be his department. And I don't know if it was like the my first day working up there or like a couple of days later. But he approached me. Right. You know, so my job was, it's called a water spider. So I just go around. Make sure everybody got what they need to keep, you know, packing more. And, you know, I'm basically like a basically like a problem solver, but that's not what my job title was called. So I went to everybody, seeing what they need. And, you know, when I started walking up to her, y'all know how it is. My, my heart was racing and stuff. And I, I was just asking her my normal stuff. I'm like, you need something? I was cheesing and stuff. And she started cheesing. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is a pretty good start. So... After that, we just kept talking. Yeah. So, this goes back to um, the last video when we said we we're going to talk about, like, who made the first move. He think he right. made the first move because he walked up to me. He approached me. Asked me, did I need some boxes? Which was his job. But. Okay, but I still. I don't got to ask nobody nothing, for real. I could just go up to him, give him their stuff, and walk away. I kind of, like, I broke the ice. That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. Like, you started a conversation with me. That's right. But I asked him, I said, like, you know, what's up? I was just getting straight to the point. I'm like, you want my number? Okay? Because we had planned on, well, he was telling me that he had to go Christmas shopping. Right, yeah. And he was saying he was going to Aurora Farms. Aurora Farms. Beachwood Mall. Yeah, Beachwood Mall. And so I'm like, oh, that's what I like. I wanted to go there too. So I said, pick me up. So I give him my number and he texts me right when we got out of work. I thought she was capping though, because y'all know how it is. You get somebody, 
or you get a number or something. Not, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. I messaged you left or red. So I thought that was gonna happen. And then, I mean, she was she was on it though. She um she texted me back, gave me her address. Yeah, usually I'm not like that at all. Like I don't be trusting people, but I don't know. Something was like you know he seemed pretty cool. I don't just begin in the car with anybody going places like that. So I, I guess I was really trying to get to know him. Gave him my whole address, like yeah. And we went. Um, well, we know we went to Outback. Right. That was the first day. Yeah, that was after though. Like I think the first thing we did, we went to Beachwood. We, we went straight there. Um, you was doing way more shopping. And at first, like, I didn't think it was going to work after a while because it was kind of, I mean, I was going to stay persistent, you know, but it was kind of, like, awkward, you know, that first date. Like, she was just walking in front of me. And I'm like, why is she walking so fast, you know? She's supposed to be walking beside me. And I was just trying to, I, I, I mean, I don't walk fast in general. I'm a slow walker. I just be taking my time with it. I'm old school. So. He walked, like like an old man like he like like his feet hurt or something me i walk fast like everybody know i walk fast so i'm thinking you know maybe he just like back there because maybe he saw one of his little girls that be to a mall or something and he didn't want to be seen with me so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna let him stay back there like nah, whatever it just for me it ain't no rush to get nowhere where i'm going unless it's an emergency and i was just Trying to, we trying to get to know each other at the time. So I mean, I would try to when you get in the stores, I would make a little conversation, try to start talking. And she was just, we were talking about our families and stuff. But then it was really, it really started getting better. Like when we got in the car, like after we left, she shopped a lot. I probably got a few gift cards or something. But yeah, after that, we started driving around. I remember she said she was like, I want a, you said you want a turtle or it was something that you was trying to get. Yeah, I know I wanted a turtle or a frog or something. It might have been a turtle. Yeah, it was a turtle. Yeah, so we were just being real spontaneous that day. And we went to, we was on my side of the town, like in Maple, Garfield over there. And we was, just, you know, just driving around. And then we went to this pet store. But ain't nobody had nothing that whole day. We was, we went to like, what, two? Yeah. Two, we went to like two or three stores. And then nobody had nothing. But then after that day, people started saying they had stuff. Yeah. But yeah, we were just driving around. And then she was like, I don't want to go home. You know, I'm having fun and stuff. So we didn't go to the movies that day, did we? No. Yeah, no. I like to eat. So I probably said, you know, let's get something to eat. Right. So then we ended up going to Outback. And, yo, I mean... That's where I proposed to, so. You know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> First date, and then that date. <laughs> but, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just, <laughs> soda. But, um, so yeah, when we went to Outback, it was cool. Like, we were just talking about, he was just asking me a lot about my past relationships and all that stuff. And I was asking him. And I don't know. I didn't feel like it was pretty awkward, like, at Outback. Oh, no. At Outback, it was cool. Yeah. It was It was just a normal little day. It was, it was cool to me. I, like, we didn't really eat that much because we was, like... Trying to be all cute. Yeah, I didn't want to be having my face looking like the Joker with steak sauce on it. You feel me? So... Yeah, and I usually don't care right. what I look like eating in front of others. But, I mean, you know... I got that aura. Whatever. <laughs> um, I don't know. I probably thought like you was like bougie or something. No, that was you. What? If you would have, if y'all would have seen what she was wearing opposed to what I was wearing, you know, I, I'm always dressing, but she had on a little fur on her head, probably a fur coat. Yeah, she was. No, it was a date. So what did you expect? I mean, yeah, but. Matter of fact, we gonna insert the um the picture. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyway, because he took a picture of me, and I'm gonna show y'all what I was wearing. Got you. Got you. After that, I can't remember if like we started beefing a little bit or we went on our second date. 
But um, on our second date, I know we went to Olive Garden and yep. Walmart. And that was when we had our first kiss. I remember we was at Olive Garden. We were just talking, playing around. We were there for a minute too, probably like two hours, just talking. No, nah, that one... That one to me was kind of awkward. That one was awkward to me because, um, I mean, I don't know if we ran out of stuff to talk about or what, but it was like we started playing iPhone games on our phone. Yeah, not even, like, we wasn't even talking sometimes. We were just playing games. And then after that, I remember, I think I started breaking ice more because I think I asked for a kiss or something. I'm, I'm like, you going to give me one? So then we ended up going to Walmart out in South Euclid, the little ghetto Walmart. So we was in a parking lot and I'm like, when I'm gonna get my kiss? She leaned in. No, I'm that. pretty sure I probably said I was gonna give you a kiss. Then you said in the parking lot, you know, I'm gonna get my kiss now. Plus I had just got my little spine back tattoo. So I let him rub lotion on it cause you know it needed to get <laughs> moisturized and stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's when that happened. Me being spicy. Mm. Me making the first moves, as always. If you say so. Yeah. Um. Then it was like kind of getting rocky a bit because I would have dudes come up to my station. Like, I wasn't entertaining them. Okay. No, I wasn't entertaining them. But, you know. He was. No. He was. Him, on the other hand, you'll see him no. at everybody's station Old, young, no. talking to all the females. That's that's my job. I wasn't talking to him. I was. Hold I was, on. I was not so y'all just him. heard that, right? Okay. So you're on. No. He said look, no. Look, look. No, 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 baby, no, baby, no, baby. First no. of all, first of all, before I met you, I was just cool with everybody. I wasn't about to just break off all my relationships, like just cool, just being cool with people, just being cordial. Y'all heard him say right. Oh, I don't even gotta. I don't even gotta like say nothing to you. I, I mean, can just I give you your boxes. I'm saying. I was just cool with people. See, he be flip flop. You be flip flop. Nah, I was just cool with people. No. She took it as me talking to people. I mean, if they talk to me, I'm not about to just stare at them with a blank face. I mean, yeah, I wasn't really pushing too hard because we was just like in the beginning, like the very beginning. But it was like, if I see you at every Girl station talking, bro. That was every dude at your station. Every dude. I'm like, man. If you want me, then I need to be the only one that's like in your eyes. Because that's what I was saying. I was saying the same thing. Yeah, but you was getting more upset about it. Me, I'm just like being cool with it. Not really saying too much. You, you kind of like start being distant just because of that. <laughs> I mean, I was telling you though. Like, dang, that's not cool, you know? Like, I mean, it, it it was fine, but it's like, we was both on the same page in our head. We know what we both wanted. And you were still trying to make me look bad. No, but that was you. Nah, that wasn't me. Me, dudes coming up to my station, me turning them down. You wasn't turning them down. Or it would be that one dude, you was like, Oh, I thought he was gay. You definitely didn't think he was gay because he was at your station for like 20 minutes at a time. Because it wasn't me and Eddie was like, man, he ain't doing nothing. And then... You talking about that light skin boy? Yeah. Yeah, I really thought he was gay or like something was wrong with him though. Like he was... I couldn't tell. He was showing him a lot of attention for something to be wrong with him. I did not find that boy attractive at all whatsoever. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Well, I mean, it was that. The one dude, he was like, oh, if you outpack me or whatever, I'll give you my number. And then we was already. No, talking. that was not it. First of all, that was like later on, like when we was deeper into talking. But we wasn't. That, that's worse. No, that was like right before, like right like the day before we got serious. You been, you, oh, you been flip flop. <laughs> talk about, talk about. No, I didn't say give you my number. I said give me some Chipotle because that's what I like. So where the number come at? How was he gonna know to give me my Chipotle then? Okay. Well, right. you still was like, oh, I ain't never call him back. So what was the point? Because, like, 
I started thinking about it and I'm like, okay, yeah, I do feel bad for doing that because I'll be upset too. But that was not my intention. I was really trying to get some free food, really. Yeah. Well, if you say so. Anyways, our third date, we, we went to like the movies, right? Um. I remember we went to the movies. I and thought we, we, was, we was all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, we went to Aurora, and we might have went to the movies after that. So, yeah, then we went to Aurora Farms. That was a pretty good day, wasn't it? Yeah. That was a real good day. So We took pictures there, too. Yeah. And y'all, y'all might be like, okay, um, she done. But I kind of started, like, seeing he was different, and he was the one who been, like, basically, you know, most dudes, They'll, they won't let you, like, listen to what you want in the car or whatever. He let me play my music. Um, and I'll be playing, like, some, well, people might think corny music. But he was letting me play my music. And also, we was in Tommy. And he took out his phone. And he was about to, like, take pictures. So, I, like, move, we was in the mirror. So, I move out the mirror and I start walking away because, you know, I'm thinking, you know, he don't want me in his pictures or whatever. Um, because he don't want his females to see me. But then he was like, come here, like I'm trying to take a picture with you or whatever. And so I get in the picture and we start taking little cute pictures. I'm like, oh my god, I feel so special. Yeah, man, I don't know why she didn't think I thought she was special or whatever. Because I saw her every girl station. Don't don't go back there. We're moving forward. Anyways, even if I know you had dudes at the time, I probably had girls, but I was showing you right then and there. I was willing to drop all of them. Simple as that. But then they say, I just I can't just drop all my relationships with people. I said friendships, friendship and relationship is different. But you said the word relationship though. I'm telling you now. No, no, you trying to. <laughs> Mix me up. With <laughs> That's what you trying to do. <laughs> Anyways, back to you trying to get on track. Back to our dates. We was at Aurora Farms and we were just. It was. I might not even. Oh yeah, I did buy stuff that day. I don't think you bought nothing. But we were just walking around talking like the the whole time. Then after that, we went to Steak and Shake. Once we left there, and we were just talking. And then after that, I think we might have worked that day, too. Yeah, I know we had to hurry up because we didn't have enough time or something. Yeah. And, y'all, he kept trying to offer to, like, buy me stuff or, like, buy my food. And I just was not with it at all. Like, he really wanted to. I mean, that's kind of like what a dude does on the first few dates. I know, but I wasn't with it. I mean, and I... I like that about you. You're independent. You know? Mm hmm So then after that, uh, was that the first time you, no, that wasn't the first time you were on parents. I remember you kept saying, like, uh, we could just go back to your house or whatever. Because you was like, I don't want to go away from you or whatever. Mm, probably. I mean, you kept saying that. And I was like, well, you got to go home or whatever to get some new work clothes or something like that or it was something we had to do. Yeah. That might have been the first day I met your parents or your mom and her ex dude. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really can't remember. Yeah. But after that, like, we kind of stopped talking or whatever. And then, like, we just kept going back and forth, like, getting into it over little petty stuff. Then we had a little bird in our ear trying to. A bird. Trying to get us to, um, you know, separate or she was really cop blocking. Yeah, she was always doing that though. She would, like when I'd be at her station in our early stages of talking, she would be like, she would be behind her packing, like, talk about some uh, work and talk and work and talk. I'm like, man. Like, and at the time, me and this girl, like, we was friends, of course. But she was, like, telling him, you know, oh, you should just leave her alone and all this stuff. And then she's telling me, oh, you know, y'all gonna, y'all gonna get back to talking and all this stuff. Like, just on some weird stuff. Yeah, for real. Um, 
But you was making it seem like we would be on, like when we would be off, we would be not talking for a long, a long time. It wouldn't be that long. It yeah. It would be like a day or like No, a it would be like a couple days. No, it would be like um, days. I'll be like, at work at my station. He'll be, the friend that's cock blocking, he'll be up at her station talking to her, walk right past me like he don't see me or nothing. You used to be doing some messed up stuff though. What? It don't need to be said on here. But anyways, I would just be talking to her about everyday normal stuff. Nothing like flirting or nothing. Don't, don't try to paint that picture of me. But like why? Like, I mean, I know why, but I'm just saying like that didn't make no sense. Then I'm up here asking her, you know, what he said, what he said, blah, blah, blah. And it was nothing that I was saying bad. I ain't that type of dude. No, I don't do that. You know what type of man I am. Then like eventually... It was around New Year's Eve. Um, we finally like start talking again. And me and the girl, we were supposed to be getting a hotel, but stuff had changed. So and like he was supposed to come and all that stuff. And he couldn't come because my mom, she wasn't on it. Cause whatever I had to do, I had to do it like at my house on New Year's. So, yeah, so it wasn't no way for him to come over and stuff. And um, after that, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we probably, like, fell out just a couple more times after that. Yeah. But it was one time where after New Year's, it had to be after New Year's, and I don't know, oh, we wasn't talking, and he was over at his friend's house drunk, and I was at home. It was, like, early in the morning. It was probably, like, I'm gonna say two, three in the morning, and I was just I, thinking about I him. That late at night. Mm -hmm. I was watching the um R. Kelly documentary. And yeah, that made you think about me? No, mm -hmm. I was just thinking about you, and I'm like, I miss him. Like, whatever. I'm about to just break the ice and talk to him. So I Facetime him, and he answered. Well, did we talk on the phone or FaceTime? I can't remember. You was on FaceTime. Yeah. And he was just telling me that he was drunk and that he was thinking about me too and that he was just about to call me and he was missing me, which I think is a lie. Because if you was thinking, if he would have did it. What you mean? If you was thinking about me, then you would have called me. No, I probably, if I would have did it, it probably would have just been like an hour later. Then you called me. You just happened to call me first. That's all that was. Yeah. Then we just, we was, that's probably like when we like really started. If we will argue, we'll hurry up, fix it, then boom. Stuff like that. Like we wouldn't stop talking for days. Right. And after that. So after that. We had went to breakfast. Oh, we yeah. had got off work and we went to breakfast at Bob Evans. Yep. And we took a couple videos there. And I don't know. I was really feeling that date. Yeah, that was a cool one. In the beginning, she ain't, I don't know why, but she ain't never really liked to sit across from me. We would always sit just like this at the uh, at the little dinner tables. Because I wanted to be right up on this with you, you know? I like staring at souls. I don't look too hard. Um, yeah, though. But, yeah, man, after that, I mean, I had moved out my mom's house, got my place. And then, shoot, the rest is history. Yeah. After that. Oh, boy, you were skipping a whole part. What? So, then that's when, like, before that, no, we went to breakfast and stuff. Then, a couple days later, um... You know, we, it was, January 15th is a special day to us. Oh, yeah. So, after that, that's when stuff really, really, really started getting serious. Because the night before, we had went to the movies. Right. And, yes. yeah. So, on the 14th, we went to the movies, which, yeah. That was the 14th, we went to the movies. Then the next day... We was out past your curfew. Yeah. 
I had to be in. And um, and I knew my mom was gonna be asleep or whatever. So I'm like, well, why not? <laughs> then January 21st was when he asked me out. Yep. Then we had went out to breakfast after that. Yeah, and that's when I had met his parents, well, his mom and his sister. Yeah. And um, then what? Oh, then February 11th, that's a special day to us, too. Yep. Now you. No, now let me you, go see, back. Now you just skipped when I moved in to my apartment. No, I should have skipped something else. On January 26th, I told him that. Okay, so met, we met December 21st, and he asked me out January 21st. Right. And I told him that I loved him January 26th. And he told me that he loved me January 27th. Then it was February 11th. You still skipping when I moved in. It was like February 4th. Yeah. Then after that, she had stayed with me that first night. She was talking about, I don't want you to be alone. Yeah, so, like, I knew my mom wasn't going to let me, like, spend a night with him or whatever. So, I had to, like, lie about where I was going. I said I was going to my friend in your house to spend a night. And she had this little um, app on my phone or whatever. And so I had to drop my phone off over there. I did that like twice. And my mom, like the whole time I'm with him, she's blowing up my phone. So she knows stuff is going on. She know she probably know I'm not there. She probably knew I was with him, which she did like eventually tell me that later on. And we left home and did wrong. Yeah. Then, um, yeah, February 11th. Then, what day? Oh, then I had quit Amazon, I think. I know it was a Sunday. I had quit, I think, the 17th, and then I moved in with him February 18th. If that's a Monday, but yeah. Yep. But, um. Then after that, it was just great growth and it was ups and downs but I mean you can't really get better without going through you know a hard time so mm -hmm. and that's it for real yeah that's how we started off y'all got any yeah. questions or anything put it in the comments below like comment subscribe